Hey, so this assignment is very much like the news reporter assignment in that it has page one for directions, page two for a graphic organizer, and then page three for the rubric. So back to the top for the directions. Everyone should be able to read and write directions. Even if your job has nothing to do with teaching or writing, there will be times when you have to very clearly and calmly tell someone how to complete a task. Think of the 911 dispatchers who calmly describe CPR over the phone, the user's manuals that describe how to operate a car, the directions on a school assignment, or the verbal instructions that your parents give you. All of these rely on the sender giving a clear message to a recipient and empowering them to do it themselves. For this assignment, you will be writing and presenting directions on how to fix something. You will be graded on clarity, we should be able to leave the room and do the task ourselves successfully. You're not designing a lesson as a teacher would, but you are unofficially teaching us a skill. So the first thing you need to do is pick a topic. The thing you choose to fix can be lighthearted, like how to fix a sunburn, or serious, like how to fix a broken engine. And it may be tangible, a broken cell phone cover, or abstract, how to fix a broken heart. Feel free to be creative and have fun. The only rules are that your solutions or how-to steps must actually be plausible for fixing what's wrong. Don't just cure the symptoms, get to the root of the problem and give legitimate advice. You must also be cautious not to be persuasive. Resist the temptation to insist that your method is the right or only way to do it and focus instead on writing clear information. Step two, the graphic organizer. You are going to look at it and identify what the best characteristics are of informative instructional materials. So you don't necessarily have to be looking at instructions that are for the thing you want to fix. So let's say you are going to use the example how to fix a sunburn. You don't need to look up how to fix a sunburn online for these. You can look up things like cookbooks, user manuals, other articles, other how-tos. You need to pick four sources, one, two, three, four, and you need to notice what about this writing, sorry, what do you notice about this writing in terms of content, meaning what does it say? And then you need to write what do you notice about this writing in terms of style? How is it formatted and worded? If you think of a recipe card, it usually has the ingredients bulleted and then it has the steps, maybe one, two, three, so it's easy for you to follow. If you're thinking about putting together, let's say, a new Lego set, then that has the steps laid out chronologically so that you don't mess it up. If you do mess it up, you have to go back to the last spot that you had. So you're noticing what about the four sources works what works for content, what works for style. After you have picked a topic, after you have looked at some of these great examples and filled out the graphic organizer, you are going to write a numbered list of steps that teach a reader or a listener how to complete your task. Minimum of half a page. If you're gonna do bullet points, things like that, typing, it's probably gonna be more like a page. If you are wanting to handwrite this like on a recipe card or make a booklet like a user's manual, all those things are creative and very much appreciative. Those would be possible to send me pictures or to take to the school. If you do it on a Google Doc, just like with the newspaper report, you can just send me those. Step four is not required. It is optional because we're not in school. So step four asks you to do a quick demonstration speech telling us how to fix your item with visual aids like a PowerPoint, poster, props that you can hold up and show us. It says bonus points if you have the supplies available and have a volunteer from the class complete the task while you give the directions. That would be fun maybe with a family member at home. Like I said, this is only if you would like to take it a step further, this does not actually have to happen. One example that I'm thinking of that's funny with this um, last piece is writing how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which seems like fairly easy task, but then while you're writing it, you actually have somebody complete it, and it's pretty funny because we tend to forget things like get a knife, 
well, what kind of a knife? And then if you forget to say a knife and you say spread the peanut butter, then are they expected to put their hand in the peanut butter? No, but it's a good way to see the gaps in your steps. And it might be funny to read it aloud and try to have somebody complete the task. If you find that you have a gap, you should fix it. So recap, you are going to pick a topic, lighthearted, serious, tangible, or abstract. If you're not sure if it'll work, you can always ask me, but I am going to give you guys creative freedom on this. Second, you're going to research what works well. Write that down in the four boxes below. And lastly, you are going to write your directions, minimum of a half a page, and send those to me. Please let me know if you need any help. Have a great week.